The striped eel catfish is a small omnivorous fish with an interesting body shape. Many of its fins are fused together to form a body shape similar to an eel's, hence the name. It's the only fish that can be found in coral reefs, but it can also be found in other coastal habitats, such as the mangroves beside me. Like other catfish, it has four long barbels around the head, which act as finely tuned sensors. The catfish uses these sensory organs to help search for prey, but it also has a very cool defence mechanism. It has venomous spines along its dorsal and pectoral fins, which secrete a toxin. The toxin that is secreted can cause injuries as painful as those from a scorpion fish, and can, in rare cases, even be fatal. In other words, it packs quite a punch. We survey the catfish as part of our ongoing mangrove project, which assesses how human disturbances affect the biodiversity in this vitally important ecosystem. The pin-tailed wider is a charismatic blue bird, easily recognisable due to its striking plumage. The male has a bold black and white pattern during breeding season and a long black tail, hence the name pin-tailed wider. This bird is a brood parasite, meaning it lays eggs in the nests of other birds. However, unlike other wider species, which are host-specific, only laying their eggs in the nests of certain waxbill species, the pin-tailed wider is less fussy laying its eggs in the nest of a range of black spells. Five species of marine tortoise occur in Tanzania's waters. All five of these species are included on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Animals. In the Western Indian Ocean, various studies indicate that the turtle population continued to decline with human activities accounting for approximately 85% of turtle mortalities. The main threats to turtles in Tanzania are disturbance of nesting habitats, incidents in net captures, poaching of meat and eggs, and land-based development and pollution. Marine turtles are becoming increasingly recognized for their passive use values. A recent study on the economic aspects of turtle use and conservation revealed that non-consumptive use, such as turtle tourism, generates proportionally more revenue and provides more economic and social benefits than consumptive use. Frontier Tanzania is collaborating with CSENT, a local organization working to conserve Tanzanian marine wildlife. CSENT is raising awareness of Tanzanian sea turtles by educating school kids, conducting turtle hatching trips and teaching local fishermen about their potential impact on the turtle population in the area. Increased local awareness has reduced the percentage of post turtle nests on Mafia Island from 49% to below 1% in 2004. Black egret, otherwise known as the black heron, is perhaps most well known as the nighttime daytime bird as featured in the BBC programme Walk on the Wild Side. It is entirely plain slated black, with a ragged short crest, black bill, black legs and orange yellow feet. It is generally found on marshy lake fringes and open tidal flats. Its most distinguishing feature is its unique umbrella feeding action. This is where the bird throws its wings forward creating a canopy over the water. The shade subsequently created attracts prey from which the bird feeds on. This bird we survey is part of our ongoing bird monitoring project of the local coastal area, highlighting the importance of the coastal habitat for a wide variety of taxa. Flatworms could be considered the jewels of the sea with their vast array of body shapes and colours. So why are these animals so colourful? Well, many of them feed on toxic hyroids and then absorb these toxins into their own bodies as a defence mechanism. 
so the colours are a warning to any passing predators. Not all nudibranchs and flatworms are brightly coloured, with many being cryptic and blending in perfectly with their surroundings. Possibly because of this, scientists believe that only half of all nudibranchs and even less of flatworms have been discovered. On the project, we monitor the diversity of flatworms and nudibranchs because it is a great indicator of the diversity of the benthos and of the health of coral reefs.